This is Sneaker Gears, my name is Levi, and welcome to the first episode of Which Do You Get? I get questions almost daily, whether it's through direct message, Instagram comments, from athletes all over the world asking, hey, what shoe should I get? Usually, uh, guys, girls, you send over two or three pairs, and you're kind of just wondering what fits you best. And I'll go over a few questions, and really just want to show you kind of how I analyze it, and show you what is the best shoe, just because what you wear, the gear you use makes a difference now you can hoop in anything so a guy saying well I, I hoop in this shoe or I don't care you can hoop in sandals Timberlands it doesn't matter but if you're trying to be competitive if you're hooping at an elite level it makes a difference so we're gonna start off with a pairs I was looking at and I wanted to give you some insight but going forward if you have a few questions and you would like me to do a video on what your decision process was or how I helped you I'd love to do videos on what you guys sent in to me but the two pairs I was looking at are gonna be the LeBron Soldier 12 which is last year's version and the Hyper Dunk 10 which is now obsolete so both are available for really good value I was able to get the uh, LeBron Soldiers for $60 or I was able to get the Hyperdunk 10 for $45. $15 difference, at least to me, is not that big of a difference. So depending what your budget is, I'm not going to give financial advice, but set your budget, try to stick to it, and at least for me, a $10 to $20 swing is not that much if I'm trying to get the better shoe. All that being said, let's get into it. All right, let's start with the bottom, which is a little bit different, and that's the traction. The traction on LeBron Soldiers, I did have a review on, and that might have been, or is my best traction of 2018. That is an elite traction base. The Hyperdunk traction, based on every review, based on people I've talked to, I've asked, is no slouch either. I don't know if it's elite, uh, just trying them on in store, but it is up there where it's not a slouch. We can call this a draw, but maybe a slight edge to the Soldier. Moving up to the cushion, both are a really classic example of Nike Zoom Air done right. You have a heel zoom and forefoot zoom, but there is a, a minute difference. The Hyperdunk 10 came with one of the largest zoom bags I've heard of, a 16 millimeter heel zoom bag huge the lebron soldier doesn't fall too much behind it's a 14 millimeter zoom bag again both you can really feel the four foot zoom which i prefer having more cushion there the soldier pulls ahead with a 10 millimeter zoom bag which is fairly massive you can definitely feel it the hyperdunk has about a seven millimeter depending if you have low or high it does range right around that 6.8 to 7.1 so i don't know if it's exact but right around seven millimeters and you can kind of feel the difference I've had a few injuries, so my feet are a little sensitive, so I can actually tell the heel zoom and the forefoot zoom, but either way, they're both really comfortable, and honestly, for max cushion, I'm going to be using our Velocity insoles anyway. These fit in both without any issues, again, just trying them on in store, and if I wanted that max zoom setup, I'm definitely going to get it with our Velocity insoles. Moving up to the support, this is where things get a little bit different. The Hyperdunk has way more lateral containment and lockdown, especially in the high, but the high or low, I don't really think I had a preference, than the Soldier 12. Now, a lot has to do with how it fits your foot. At least for my shoe, I wasn't able to get a great lockdown fit in the Soldier 12, whereas the Hyperdunk really just locked me in. And even if you are able to get a really nice locked in fit in the Soldier 12, it's not a shoe that has a ton of containment. So even though it is enjoyable, it is a really good shoe, there's gonna be other shoes that are gonna have better support. Now, if you don't really need that much support, or you're able to play without having that much, then it's a great shoe. I prefer having support towards the high end, but not really a max setup. So for me, the support really swung towards the Hyperdunk. Now, lastly, and most importantly, is gonna be fit. And this is where things came into play. I already did the review on the Soldier 12, and the biggest issue for me was the fit. And going back, that was a 12 and a half. This time I did try on a 13, and it fit me a little bit better, but honestly, I didn't quite get the locked in I wanted. I didn't quite feel uh, secure enough if I'm gonna be hooping these. Now, if they're for casual use, I think they're great. I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, I love how the materials they use where it had kind of a leather toe box in the pair I was looking at. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can see it's a nice bread colorway being from Chicago, kind of black and red. So I really like the styling on the Soldier 12, but ultimately, 
the fit, the lockdown, the support on these Hyperdunks really just won me over. Not to mention, they're still 25% less. Now, if the Soldier 12s were the better overall shoe, that 15 bucks wasn't gonna hold me back. But at the same time, you definitely wanna be fiscally responsible. And a lot of folks were even saying, why don't you just get both pairs? I don't need both pairs. And if I'm looking for a casual shoe, I already have enough running shoes, enough training shoes. I have enough basketball shoes, just shoes in general. I don't really go and get casual shoes or walking shoes. There's no point. But this Hyperdunk, I never did a full review on it, but just the outrigger on this, that lateral support wing, the additional height here where it just pulls you back into the heel, the external and internal heel cups on the back. It's just a surprising overall shoe. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do a full review on this shoe, but I do have almost every Hyperdunk. So I might do a video on just the Hyperdunk line now that it's kind of going the way of the Dodo. Whether it's the Alpha Dunk or the Hyper Rise, whatever they're coming out next, the Hyperdunk series is no more. That traction, if you guys wanna check it out, is kind of a wave traction. I haven't played on court in these twice. I have been shocked, definitely missed out. If I, the reason I didn't get it last year is because I try to get the best shoes on the market, trying to find whatever is gonna be the best shoe for you. And this is really a team shoe, so I didn't really think too highly of it. And honestly, I was wrong. This is a really nice shoe. Most places are gonna have this available for sale anywhere from probably 60 to 90. So getting at 45 for me was a really good deal. This colorway, I don't know if I was a huge fan, but I practice what I preach. I kind of don't care what what colorways you're getting as long as they can play. Uh, that being said, I generally like the bread colorways being Chicago, being a Bear, uh, Bulls fan. So this uh, actually worked out pretty well. I do like that it has a little patch of leather on the heel. And I do like the fact that you have multiple uh, types of materials with that neoprene kind of in the fourth, in the midfoot. So my wide midfoot fits really nicely here. I did go with the 13 and it fits pretty much just right. I don't know if I could do a 12 just because of the width and the shank here, but uh, overall, I think I made the right choice. I'm pretty happy with it. And if you guys ask me, I'll kind of go through the same analytical uh, breakdown, trying to help you find what is the best shoe for you. We all have different feet, different needs, different preferences. So if you're gonna give me two, three shoes, I'll try to break it down and we'll find the best shoe to help you perform at your best. But for me, between the LeBron Soldier 12 and the Hyperdunk 10, I think the Hyperdunk 10 is gonna suit me a little bit better. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. I'm looking forward to your comments let me know what you guys want what you guys think i'm happy to shoot uh whatever a shout out to uh your instagram your youtube so if you have a few shoes you want me to analyze i will break it down and it will be my pleasure as always this is levi sneaker gears really appreciate you guys and i'll come at you later